Lord. Welcome to No, no Pressure Zone. Zone. I'm your host, your girl, aka Young Trish. Trish. Let's go. So, you guys, don't you know you can be with a person for over a decade and still not know shit about them? Like, you can be with a person for years and still not know nothing about them. Most people don't find out stuff about their spouse until they dead and gone. Sometimes, you be having women that found out when their husband passed away, oh, he had about eight different kids, by three other different baby mamas that you ain't know nothing about. So you, you done married her and you didn't know that she had a second husband. It had some extra other kids in a whole nother state. I mean, it's so much. Like, you can literally be with a person or, or be around them all day long. You can know the food that they eat, the type of drinks that they drink. That don't actually mean that you know them. You feel me? Like, I'm... I mean, like, it'll blow your mind because it, it takes me back to, like, when I remember, uh, like, a few years ago, my brother, we was having a party. He brought his friend over because it was my sister's birthday. So, his friend came over. His, if you look, if you met this guy, this guy was a very calm dude, smart dude, nice-looking guy. I want to say, bro, when the news came and hit us about what he had did, I was like, ain't no way in the world this man could have did that. I was like, bro, we met this man. We shook this man's hand and everything. Like, we nearly didn't know him. I, we know his brothers because his brothers used to be at my, you know, hanging out with my brother all the time. So I'm like, damn. Like, literally, he went and stabbed this girlfriend about 32 times, bro, and then killed this girlfriend lover. Well, he killed him first. Then they said he rode around in the car with her stabbing her. And then he stabbed the daughter and all. I was like, bro, you would have never thought... This guy that that would have happened to, and that ain't the only one, bro. Like I remember another another person, bro. Like this lady, she was messing with this married man, and not knowing that, you know, he had a wife. Well, she know that he had a wife, but they was messing around, and she was finger to call the relationship off. That's why I say, bro, you can't be telling people how you finna call a relationship off. Sometimes you just gotta, sometimes you gotta keep your mouth shut and just move on. I'm saying, send him a text or something, cause some people are crazy as fuck. I mean, like, she told him that she didn't want to um, talk to him no more, bro. This man, married man, he had a whole wife and kids and everything, bro. Had a good job. Don't you know this man came to this lady fucking house and killed all her kids and killed her? He didn't kill his wife, bro. He killed. He didn't go kill his kids, but he killed all this lady kids. And that's crazy because she was my grandma, the next door neighbor. I was like, damn. I'm like, that man went over there and killed all that lady kids. I mean, he killed every last one of them. And those weren't even his kids. I want to say, bro, the audacity of this sucker right here. That's why I say, well, you got to be careful when people be out here tomorrow off in the end of the relationship. Y'all be wanting to get on Facebook and, and end the relationships and everything. Bro, sometimes it's like with me. I don't never tell a person what I'm for the end of the relationship. I just won't call your ass. I just, bro, you you will probably be hurt for a few for a few days, but after that, you'll get over it. But that's one thing about love. People gotta understand, bro. You will always meet somebody new. You can't be just sitting right there crushing, you know, sitting right there crushing on the same person all year long, bro. Hell no, nah, move on. There's more fishes out there in the sea, and the faster you move on, the faster your ass can see. You feel me? But I mean, like people, like boy, people get crazy when it comes time to love. You know, like if you ever watch Lifetime. I feel like Lifetime be having seasons, like they have a season when all the when all the men go crazy and go to raping and killing all the women or beating on all the women. There's a season for that. There's a season for when all the kids go to kill it, bro. I feel like it, there's a season. People talk, there ain't no season. Shit, me watch Lifetime. I bet you if you watch Lifetime for a whole week and it started getting into that season, I bet you gonna start. If you watch the news, you will start to see in that these seasons. It's falling right behind with a, a, a lifetime element, element. Cause I used to stay watching this shit, like especially like it was this show, my mother's murderer. Some, it was some type of show. I know this man. He was beating on his wife. Nice looking man, and end up killing his wife, bro. I mean, like it was a sad, sad witch hunt. That was based on the true story. So I was like, damn. I'm like, bro, you know how sad that is for a man that's like, bro. Y'all, you already beating on and She just trying to get over you. When she just trying to get her life together and leave this man, that's when that man come back and kill that lady. And I was like, bro, that's what, that's how it normally happens. When you, when you finna go lead them along, that's why I say, bro, if you know that person kind of crazy, even if you don't think that person crazy, bro, stop calling them. Let they ask, the, even if you have to leave and go stay somewhere for a whole two damn weeks to get off they motherfucking ass. Do that shit, bro. 
I do that shit in a hurry, bro. When you see me in a relationship and I'm done with your ass, bro, I ain't finna talk to you. I ain't finna come around you. I ain't finna call you back. And I might change my number because it's free to change your number. If you don't do it all the time, bro, I would change my number on your ass. Because, look, bro, it'll help. It helps you stay alive. Thinking about it, bro. Because guess what? You ain't got to face that person. You ain't got to see. Now, you can, you can write them a letter or send them a text message. I'll see your ass text message. Be like, hey, this ain't going to work because me and you ain't seeing eye to eye. I remember one time I broke up with this guy. This, uh, this guy because I didn't break up with him for the bad reasons. I just broke up with him because, like, bro, he was, like, very educated. And you ever been around somebody that make you feel like you... I feel like I should have been a little bit more educated. Because I'm going to say, bro, you are like a pilot and stuff. Like, I feel, I feel bad because, you know... Like, even when he be speaking, I be want to say, boy, your vocabulary on right. My vocabulary ain't about shit. <laughs> but anyway, I broke up with him for the wrong reason. I feel like if I'd have been stuck in that relationship, I'd have, shit, I'd have been with a pilot, y'all. But I let it go because I was like, bro, I don't feel like we, it, it, it didn't feel right. You know how I, when something don't feel right to me, I let the shit alone. I don't give a damn what nobody say. And on top of that, he was talking too much. I want to say, bro, you tell your family everything. Telling your mama, your friends, them about your relationship. Now, I don't mind you talking to your people, but when you started telling all your friends, especially when you started talking about, you know, sexual stuff, to oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. No, shit, if you want me to do that, go tell your mama to do that for you. Check and see what she going to do that for you. And so, oh, my mom said, yes, when you become a wife, you're supposed to do these things. I was like, that's your mama. My mama them didn't raise me to do no shit like that, so I'm not going to do it. You feel me? Sometimes you got to stay your ground with people because if you don't, when you first get the when you first get to know them and you start letting little shit slide, that's when they're going to start to try to bring that big shit in. That's why I say, bro, you got to stop people before it begins. Like, no, I don't do that. This ain't the way we going. So, we, you know, reroute yourself. You feel me? But anyway, I appreciate y'all for listening. And make sure y'all don't forget to check out the next episode. Don't make sure y'all don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. We will be, we will be doing some extra shows. So don't forget about us, y'all.